Hey YouTube, DRS2100 here. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, I thought I would show you this uh, micro Tesla turbine I made. Uh, actually, uh, I'm trying to set it up as a generator. Uh, so, I've got, uh, got it hooked up through this little magnetic ball clutch I made. Uh, so that guy would just lock to there. And so what will happen here is, uh, if there's a significant uh, drag from the inductance of the motor, uh, and the uh, transformer uh, or whatever load that's on it, it'll slip a bit and the engine will keep running and give it a chance to kind of catch up and more pressure can be applied at the back for more of a, a frictionable contact, whatever. Um, but yeah, so the uh, engine's actually a, a five rotor. Uh, I made the uh, rotors out of uh, uh, zinc aluminum that I cast at home. Uh, and then I just uh, turned them out on the uh, the tag mini lathe here. I don't know if you can see inside here, um, but I've got uh, little tiny exhaust ports. Uh, that's because I made the uh, rotor assembly as a bank, and um, when I uh, drilled the holes to go through the uh, uh, through the rotors, uh, I actually um, drilled them at a two degree offset from the center line so that they would be kind of toroidal and maybe uh, I don't know if that's gonna help with the um, with the uh, air movement uh, it'll make it more efficient or less efficient I'm not sure but either way so I did that and then uh, I uh, ported out uh, the uh, exhaust for the rear just make it a little bit better flow uh, the the body of it uh, itself is made out of a 6000 series uh, aircraft aluminum that I uh, actually uh, got from uh, bicycle hubs. Uh, so those were cast and then machined. Um, and yeah, the uh, bearings are actually two roller bearings uh, from a skateboard. And then uh, they're flushed so they're a little bit uh, lower friction. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, gonna try and uh, ramp the voltage up because this little 3 volt motor was only putting out uh, uh, 1.2 to 1.6 volts uh, at about you know 30 psi uh, and then I had it uh, ramped up through this transformer. It's actually a Jewel Ringer 3.0 uh, circuit I was using uh, courtesy of Laser Saber, that's his circuit. Uh, very uh, neat circuit, I mean it uh, ramps up voltages, operates on very low voltage but uh, I blew the uh, little 2N3055 transistor, uh, so I might have to replace that with something. Not sure why it blew, probably just, you know, one off, who knows. But it was working great, you know, I was uh, able to get some higher voltages out of it. Uh, either way, uh, I thought I'll uh, give it a test run and show you guys how it works here. It'll run off of any, uh, you know, compressed gas, uh, pretty much. Uh, I mean, right now I'm just running it off of compressed air from the compressor, but I'm going to turn that on. But it'll run on steam. Yeah, I haven't actually clocked it for RPMs or anything like that, but it seems to go pretty good. It doesn't run too loud either. Okay, I'm just gonna set this off here for a second. And I'll hook up the uh Oh, I know I actually the terminals kind of got torn out of there, um, but uh, I'm just going to hook that up to there, just so I can show you how this little clutch is kind of working here. Um, but yeah, you can see if you spin it quick, it doesn't really, you know, throw a lot of drag down. But you can apply more, you know, transverse pressure and get it to grip really well. Um, but you know, I thought that was kind of uh, helpful. 
Because yeah, when the uh, inductance drag got too high, it would just stall it right out. So this way the engine keeps running. And then you just apply more pressure and it'll lock up. Yeah, so see how it uh, runs like this here. And grab that switch. <laughs> If I put torque on it, it's actually got quite a bit of torque too. But when I apply torque to it, the engine stays running, and you can feel like it's trying to catch up. Very neat. Yeah, I'm just uh, working on making improvements to the design, make it more efficient, make it produce more power, and eventually I'll uh, do a video on uh, how to make it from scratch, and uh, and you guys can, uh, you know, who, for those of you who are interested, can try making one of these at home. So yeah, micro Tesla turbine. Oh yeah, and the uh, injectors. I actually made these uh, injectors out of uh, uh, bleeder nipples from a hydraulic brake set, a bicycle hydraulic brake set. Uh, so those things are pretty good. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, I just sealed it up with a bit of uh, JB Quick Weld there, and seals pretty good. Just a T fitting there for those two injectors. Those injectors are actually offset a little bit too to further assist in creating that vortex. Um, but yeah, seems to be pretty good. I haven't really run it on any uh, significant pressures yet, just because I don't want to destroy it right away, but uh, I might, uh, you know, refine the design a bit better and uh, see what else it can do. But yeah, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.